What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are talking about a pretty big news story that I don't feel a lot of people are kind of covering, and it should be covered a little bit more here on YouTube. In the NASCAR world, I should say. The only person who's done a video on this is Rusty Walrus. By the way, check his channel out if you haven't yet. Rusty's a really awesome guy and great channel as well. But let's talk about it. So, we're going to talk about Brett Moffitt. Now, why am I bringing up Brett Moffitt? Well, Brett Moffitt, at next week's Talladega Race will be driving for Junior Motorsports' number 8 car in the Xfinity Series race at Talladega. That is a huge, huge, huge deal. I don't think people realize how big of a, how big of a, deal, a deal this is. Dale Jr. has come out in a lot and praised um, Brett Moffitt in the past. On his podcast, the Dale Jr. Down, he said that Brett Moffitt is the one guy of the younger drivers that are coming through the ranks, he says he's the one guy that he thinks that can go out there and win a NASCAR championship, a cup championship. I have said this. I think personally, I think Moffitt is number two behind Chris Bell. But if you put Chris Bell and Brad Moffitt head to head, I think you've had a uh, you would have a head to head battle. I think it'd be a really close battle. I think Bell just edge Moffitt now, but Moffitt is the best driver in the truck series right now and one of the most talented guys that does not have a cup ride right now who should have a cup ride right now i don't understand now let's talk about why this is also significant junior motorsports and gms what do both teams have in common they're partnered by hendrick motorsports hendrick engines who supplies those well, you should know by now, Hendrick Motorsports. Now, why is this also significant that I bring up Hendrick Motorsports? Think about this. If Brett Moffitt succeeds, think about this as well. In 2020, you may see Moffitt run, you never know, half a season or a full season at Junior Motorsports with partnership from ISM Connect, who is sponsoring Brett Moffitt this upcoming race at Talladega. The big question is, and a lot of people ask me, so um, who do you think, so people have been asking, who's going to end up replacing the 48? Imagine Jimmy Johnson goes into retirement or leaves NASCAR. Think about this. Brett Moffitt could be the guy replacing Jimmy Johnson. It's not out of, now, it's, I could be wrong on saying that. Or Alex Bowman. Or even, you know, William Byron, for all we know. Or Byron goes in for a ride and one of those three guys loses their ride. I personally think the guy that should replace the 48 car is Brett Moffitt. Personally, at this, I'm like, yeah, he's in the Chevy stable now. He's part of, he's got Hendrick engines, he's got Hendrick backing. Why, why not just put him in the, in the 48 car when it comes to time around 2021? I, I would tell you that Hendrick Motorsports would, would do really, really good if you put Brett Moffitt in that 48 car. That's my opinion, though. Some people are going to say, oh, oh, but Brett Moffitt's not that good. Brett Moffitt took a team last year in the truck series that was competing just to make the playoffs, and they won the championship, and I think it was six races last year, which is a lot for a small team like that. And now they're competing to the top tens again, even though Austin is a good driver. I'm just saying, you know, this is a huge deal that no one's talking about. This could be the guy... That goes and replaces Jimmy Johnson. This is why, in my opinion, I think this is a thing that we need to talk about as an NASCAR community. He could be the next Jimmy Johnson. He could be like the next Dale Jr. on the popularity. We all love Brett Moffitt. Remember, beginning of before this year, we all were pissed that Moffitt didn't get a ride. And now Brett Moffitt has an opportunity to take his career to another level. Imagine if he goes to Victor Galena Dega this upcoming week. Just think about that. That would be hella awesome. It would be awesome to see him go out and play with the guy who replaces Jimmy Johnson. He's my number one top guy for replacing Jimmy Johnson right now. Not saying that great, not against Noah Grayson or anything. I like Grayson and all, but I think Brett Moffitt has better. I think Grayson's too young to go to the Cup Series right now in 2021. I don't think he has enough experience, and he hasn't done enough, in my opinion, um, to deserve to go out to Cup. But he's got another year to prove himself, and I think Grayson's got plenty of time to prove himself. He's, he's still young. He's only 20, 21 years of age. 
people expect like these young kids, oh, you need to do well, but Brent Moffitt's kind of one of the older, older young kids. He's 26 or 27. He's had a lot more experience than some of these guys that are going to even a cup. William Byron was only around for three or four years. You had Moffitt racing in lowers, the lower series and even ran Xfinity race back in 2013. And this will only be, think about this, will be only his third career Xfinity series start. Think about that. Anyhow, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on if you know about any videos on my channel. And share this video out to your, your family or friends. Also, follow my Facebook uh, links. Uh, link in the description as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.